Yo, 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 what's good with it, man? You know who, yeah, man, you should be used to that sound by now, man. You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. 314, man. Welcome, 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 man. Welcome to the family, man. Hope you hit that like button. I don't know how you find me, but I hope you hit that notification bell. And then before you leave, I hope you hit the subscription button, man. Join the Mr. 314 movement, man. Keep this thing grinding, man. So as usual, man, you know we got an informational video for you, man. So you know EA is always dropping them gems, keeping us up to date and abreast. You know, you, you like how you use that word right there? Abreast of what's coming up, man. So they did on their Twitter feed, man. Make sure you follow them on Twitter if you want to keep uh, up to date on what's coming out. They released the Legends that's going to be coming out tomorrow, and they gave us three of them, man. So we're going to hop on into it, man. Without further ado, let's quit talking to get into it. Man, and like I said, man, make sure, man, if you're a Mudhead gamer, if you're an EA gamer, man, if you're a Madhead, man, make sure you follow them. They don't need no extra publicity for me, man. But this is just for y'all, man. This is really for them. It's for y'all, man. So y'all can stay up to date, man, on what's going on. I want y'all to keep coming to my videos. It's showing your boys some love, man. And come, come looking at these pearly whites, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean, just so you can be informed yourself, man, um, make sure you go to their Twitter feed. They'll give you all types of information, man, let you know what's coming out. So, and here they are, man. Here are our legends, man. So they're dropping us three of them tomorrow. Um, and let's dive into it, man. You see, we got the Corey Dillon. We got the Rob Ninkovich. And we got the Jason Seahorn, man. So, like, for me, um, just looking at my face value, man, I'm not really too excited about any of these guys. Man, you know with the legends, man, really with all the legends, aside from the fact but with them being good cards most of the time, most of the legends, man, they got to have some type of sentimental value to you, man. Most for, at least for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm an 80s baby, man. So I grew up in like, you know, watching football heavy, heavy in the mid 90s. So for me, you know what I'm saying? It's guys that I remember watching in the mid 90s that I get excited for, man. And Corey Dillon was one of them guys. Seahorn, eh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Nikovich, okay. He, it, <laughs> he, to me, you could throw McGinnis. Ninkovich, Teddy Bruschi, any of them Patriots players, I wouldn't be excited for, man. Wasn't none of them really like that to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't get mad at me, Patriots fans. That's just, I'm just saying. They wasn't nobody I was running out trying to grab a jersey for. But anyway, they gave them to us. So let's look at these stats, man, and see what they give us. All right, man, and here we go, man. Let's start with the Corey Dillon. Number. Remember that. Corey Dillon, break off little something, something, kid. Break it off the block. Boomer size and great block. Springs Dillon, 46-yard touchdown. The rookie had a 71-yard touchdown last week, 14 10 Bengals. TJ, how about that block from Esaias and Corey Dillon? The rookie from the great Northwest. Break me off a little something, something, kid. Breaks off 37 yards down to the 35-yard line. Dillon, 19 carries, a buck 14, his second 100-yard game of the year. The science is hands it off to Corey Dillon, who does the rest. He is gone. 31 yards. 21 nothing Bengals on three drives. Watch it. You know what I'm saying? We got young Corey Dillon. Now, hey, those of y'all that don't know, man, y'all was born in 2000. Y'all probably don't know about this guy, man. For a short period of time, man, this dude was considered the best running back in the league, man. Rocking out with the Bengals, man. He later on in his career got traded to the Patriots. Um, and uh, he, he kind of, I'm not going to say he flamed out because he did all right there, man. But the stories in the locker room didn't really go as well, man. They say he was kind of a locker room distraction, which is why he ultimately didn't end up staying there too long. But he was a baller when he was at his peak, man. So let's check a look at his car, man. So gave him, gave him a 91 speed, 92 excel, 90 agility, 94 carrying, 66 catching, 90 elusiveness, 89 trucking, and 94 break tackle. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got too many running backs out right now, man, to be bringing out a running back like this that's a 95 overall, and you got 94s so it's got better stats than him. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, this is a waste of a slot. You know what I'm saying? They just had to plug somebody in there. It's a card that they had, uh, what was it, the theme team masters or the theme diamond masters there where you get three times chemistry. He's one of those. So I guess they just trying to, like, it's the same thing with the Seahorn. I guess they just trying to, like, continue those cars. That's the only reason I can see them putting out these cars because the stats ain't really nothing to write home about. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, you know what I'm saying? It's a hard pass for me. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't rock out with them. Um, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. You might like them if you're a Bengals fan or a Corey Dillon fan, man. You might, this might be a, or a Patriots fan, man. Y'all Patriots, y'all need some running backs, too. So, if you're running a Patriots team, team, he might be the one for you. And speaking of Patriots, here we are. Rob Ninkovich, man. Man, 
man. Now, I, I just I just hate how they just throw this this term legends around so loosely. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm I'm not trying to throw no shade on man Rob nigga. He was a great role player. You know what I'm saying? He's a great role player, but let's not make a mistake. That's what he was. He was a role player. He wasn't a generational talent. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to the Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? So for all these just random people getting Legends card, that I got an issue with that in and of itself. But that's neither here nor there. But he got a Legend card, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And let me, let me say, this really sound like I'm hating on this, man. I'm not, man. I'm just trying to be honest, dog. Mr. 304, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. Y'all see what my intro say. Gaming, sports, and life, man. I don't put them three titles there, uh, them three names there loosely. You know what I'm saying? And this dude is not a sports legend. It just is what it is. But let's look at his stats. He is in Madden terms, I guess. So let's look at it. Uh, 82 speed. 87 acceleration. 93 strength. That's good. Uh, 93 tackle. Okay, 95 rec, play rec. 90 block shed. 92 power move. 85. Hey, man, they kind of made him all right. Anyway, uh, for a left-hand card, um, for me, uh, nah, man. And y'all know how I feel, man. Y'all been watching my gameplays. I run the 3-4, and I'll be honest with you, I just don't think linemen, I'm not going to say they don't matter, but they haven't shown up to, like, the really top-tier guys. They still haven't really shown to be impactful for me, man. I had, like I told y'all, I had, I run the 3-4, I had that Aaron Donald uh, powered all the way up to 93 overall with abilities on it. And I had the uh, Reggie White 95 overall, 94, powered up 95 overall, uh, the NFL 100 card with abilities on it. And they wasn't doing a damn thing, dude. Like, they wasn't doing, like, it, it, I might as well left they, like, they power up card that's stock in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I it's, I don't understand that. And I think it's just because I run the 3 4. Because I've seen people run the 4 3 and they get a lot more pressure, obviously, because, you know what I'm saying, you have a lot less chance to get double teamed in the 4 3 than you do in the 3 4 as a lineman. Um, but so for me, like I said, it's a hard pass on me, man. I ain't rocking with it, man. One, for the fact that he's really, he's not a legend, though. Let's keep it real. He's not a legend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for two, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just not any, he's not no more impressive than any other left ends we already, the DMs we already got out here now. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy. Again, at this point in the game, man, it's all about theme teams and guys that you're trying to plug in and kind of polish off your theme team, man. So, obviously, again, if you're a Patriots fan, you're probably going to find a place to put him in. If I was running a Patriots theme team, even if I don't think, even if I don't think he's a legend, I will find a place for him to go. So, Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, it is what it is, bro. And last but not least, Mr. Jason Seahorn. Gonna cut straight to the chase, dog. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I wanna know, and, and, and y'all hear me out now. I wanna know how in the hell you give Jason Seahorn 93 speed, 93 speed, but you give Stefan Gilmore 90? Half sway. That's what we doing? Is that what we doing? Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. I ain't trying to rub. Hey, I, I hope y'all don't think I'm just, this whole video just sound like me hating. I'm just keeping it real with y'all because I watch ball and I know ball, man. I watch these guys play ball. I watch Jason Seahorn play ball. I watch, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put the, I'm going to hopefully I'll find a clip. He was not a burner, dog. He was a zone coverage cornerback. They got him, again, they got his man coverage at 94, his zone at 88. He was a zone guy. He wasn't, he wasn't manning nobody like that. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. For y'all Giants fans, hey, congrats, man. Y'all got a cornerback, at least for the game. That's a pretty solid cornerback. A 6'2 cornerback with 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 92 agility, 91 jumping, 92 uh, play rec, 94, man, 88 zone, so he's not going to be able to get universal coverage. And 93 press. Hey, for Matt, that's a nice corner card. That is a nice corner card, man. So, um, like I said, I just try to relate it a little bit to what they were in real life, man. And it's like, like come on, man. Let's 
let's let's let's let's let's hold true a little bit you know what i'm saying but it is what it is first i think what's that the first 96 overall cornerback core in the game they give it to jason Seahorn. all right man and there you have it man those are our three legend drops that are coming out tomorrow two regular legends one ltd jason Seahorn, 96 overall cornerback car which actually all jokes aside it looks like a pretty legit car man can't get universal coverage because we got 88 uh, zone coverage, but everything else looks pretty nice, man. So let me know, man, which ones you rock, like rocking with, which ones you ain't rocking with. You gonna give them a hard pass? You trying to cop? But let me know down in the comment section, man, which ones you rocking with, man. All right, man, and that's it, man. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, man, to join the Mr. 314 family. Without further ado, it's been your boy, Mr. 314. I'm out.